Hello folks, this is Joe Samo in San Diego, California. Give this one a shot by hitting the pause button and then we'll do it together. All right, I hope you tried it on your own. Let's do it together. The sum of three numbers equals 855. One of the numbers X is 50% more than the sum of the other numbers. Uh, so what the heck is this? We have three numbers. So we can say X plus Y plus Z equals 855. And then it says that X is 50% more than the sum of the other two numbers. So the relationship between X and Y plus Z is that X is one and a half times bigger than Y plus Z. So X equals Y plus Z times one and a half. And now we could distribute that one and a half. We get X equals 1.5 Y plus 1.5 Z. And what we want to do is we want to figure out what Y plus Z equals. So then that way we could take it out of that, the top equation up here, and then we could isolate what X equals. So let's plug in 1.5 plus 1.5 Y plus 1.5 Z into that equation. So we had, we had X plus Y plus Z equals 855, and then we're going to plug this in for X. So we get 1.5 Y plus 1.5 Z plus Y plus Z equals 855. And then as you can see, you know, you could add the Y's together and then you could add the Z's together. So 1.5 Y plus Y is 2.5 Y plus uh, 2.5 Z, because 1.5 plus 1 is 2.5 equals 855. Uh, and at that point, you have 2.5y plus 2.5z equals 800, 855. And then you can divide, you could factor out 2.5 from each side. So if you do that, y plus z equals 2.5. And then what the heck is this? You'd have to, if you divide 855 by 2.5, let's do it the old fashioned way, the long division. All right, uh, at this point, I'd probably just go like that. Boo -da -boo. Okay, so you have 25 goes into 85 three times. All right, do good old long division. Uh, and then 25 goes into 105 four times. You have 50, and then 25 goes into 50 twice. Yeah, perfect, okay. So it's 352, 342, sorry. So, uh, so 2.5 times y plus z equals 2.5 times 342. And then obviously at that point, you could just uh, divide each side by the 2.5. So you get y plus z equals 342. Now we go back to this original equation where we have x plus y plus z equals 855. And we could substitute 342 for y plus z. So we get x plus 342 equals 855 and then at that point you could subtract 342 from each side so you get x equals 513 513 that's the answer all right if you want to get better at math do this video right here this one right there that one that one that one uh, and then you're going to love doing these you're going to get better at it just keep on going keep on practicing and you're going to rock and roll all right bye